growing up in the early 2010s, I spent a lot of my time doing online quizzes because I had nothing better to do with my time. A lot of uh, Harry Potter quizzes, finding out what house I'm in and all of that kind of stuff. Unfortunately for me now, that doesn't look great looking back at that, but oh well. But with the amount of quizzes that I did take, I never actually took a sexuality quiz. That is until today. Today I'm going to be finding out if I am really asexual according to an online quiz. And disclaimer before I get into this, if I don't get 100% asexual or whatever, I am demisexual, so I'm not expecting it to be like 100%, but still, somewhere on the asexual spectrum, I'll be, I'll be happy. <laughs> the link to the quiz will be down in the description, so if you want to do this along with me, feel free. And let's get into finding out if I'm really asexual or not. So this quiz is called, Are You an Asexual? Let's see. Question number one, I experience sexual attraction to other people. Description is subjective. However, this simply means people may be perceived as sexually desirable to you. This question does not care about your sex drive. Always, most of the time, sometimes, rarely, never. Because I am demisexual, I have experienced sexual attraction in the past. So I am going to go with rarely, aka it's happened like three or four times in my life, which is pretty rare. <laughs> I would say that's rare. So yeah, I'm gonna go with rarely on that question. Number two, I lack interest in sexual activity. This means that you don't care as much for your other peers when it comes to sex related stuff. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. Yeah, most of the time. This is probably honestly going to be this fourth option most of this quiz, I'm not gonna lie. When I do have those feelings, obviously I want to act on them, that makes sense. So yeah, I'd say most of the time I'm not as interested in sexual activities as like, you know, allosexual people. The labels of bisexual, heterosexual, and homosexual, the conventional labels, do not adequately describe me. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time always uh i mean i do identify with bisexual i'm biromantic so i'm gonna go with sometimes i mean because it's talking about your sexuality not your i'm still gonna go with sometimes the thought of sexual activity repulses me never rarely sometimes most of the time always yeah it's gonna be most of the time um i am fairly sex repulsed when it comes to that sort of thing if i'm not having like sexual attraction i don't want to yeah no that's not something that i Ugh. Ugh. I find myself experiencing sexual attraction towards another person. Always, most of the time, sometimes, rarely, or never. It's gonna be rarely again. Like I said, it's mostly gonna be this fourth option. <laughs> but yeah, it, it doesn't happen for me very much. It's not something that, even when it does happen, I don't even like it. I'm like, can we get this feeling away? I don't wanna like deal with this, so let's not. Yeah, but it does happen rarely because demisexuality. I am confused by how much interest and time other people put into sexual relationships. Oh my God, always. Literally always. I will never understand. I don't get it. Like even like, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, whatever. <laughs> I'll never, un like, especially like if you're hooking up with more than one person, it's just so much time and effort. And I'm just like, what are y'all doing? I don't, yeah, I'll never, I'll never understand it. I feel like, like even when people explain it to me, I'm just like, really, that you wanna? Yeah, um, I don't get it. <laughs> the term non-sexual, would be an accurate description of my sexual activity. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. Again, it's gonna be most of the time, um, unless I am having those feelings, like I said. So yeah, it's gonna be like most of the time. I would be content if I never had slash will have sex. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. Honestly, I feel like I could go the rest of my life and just not do anything, you know what I mean? Like obviously not every asexual person feels like that. Everyone has a different relationship or how they feel about sex and what they do with their own bodies. But I personally am one of those people that's just like, you know what, if it never happens for me again, like I'm pretty okay with that. I would be relieved if I was told that I never had to engage in any sort of sexual activity again. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. I'm gonna say rarely on this one, mostly because in a partnership, I do like that sort of thing. So 
yeah, I'm gonna go rarely for that one. I would go to great lengths to avoid situations in which sex might be expected of me. First of all, sex is never a guaranteed thing, even when you're in a relationship. Again, it depends on who it is. <laughs> like if I'm having sexual attraction towards someone, obviously like, you know what I mean? But again, for the most part, I don't. So I don't want people to expect that of me. Like I'm gonna say most of the time. Yeah, cause it does make me uncomfortable. Like I don't like being sexualized either. So it makes me really uncomfortable. So I do, I mean, like I don't go out and I don't do that sort of shit. So I'm like, yeah, I'd say, honestly, I'd say always. Cause like, I don't like the expectation even being there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not always gonna get that out of me anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick always. My ideal relationship would not involve sexual activity, not including items of fantasy or, or any of those things. This question looks at real life situations. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. I'm gonna go sometimes with this. Like again, because things do fluctuate for me. I'm not gonna go super into detail about that because you know, I try to keep my channel pretty, pretty PG, but yeah. I'm just gonna go sometimes with that one. <laughs> Last question. Sex has no place in my life. Ignore items of fantasy. Never, rarely, sometimes, most of the time, always. <sighs> again, it's gonna be sometimes. Like I said, it's, as a demisexual person, this is so hard because it, it applies most of the time. Like, yeah, I don't want sex in my life. But then again, like I was saying, when I do have those feelings and I'm like being involved with someone, it just, yeah, like I, I want to do those things. So it's, it's a weird, like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sometimes. Yeah, it's gonna have to be sometimes for that one. Time to submit our results. And I got 77% asexual, oh my God. You are likely to be asexual, whether you may be homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, or even asexual cannot be determined by this quiz. However, you may want to find out more about asexuality on asexuality.org. Definitely will be linking that in the description as well. 77%, <laughs> honestly, I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be lower. I'm really happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you took this quiz and what your score turned out to be. Again, I'm really surprised it wasn't lower. 77% asexual is still very asexual. <laughs> if you wanna see me take more sexuality quizzes, also let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.